What's up guys? Welcome to my humble abode. I'm Chrome Zone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you exactly how to use an audio interface, how to set it up in your bedroom studio so you're instantly ready to go. What you will learn is how to connect it to a microphone to instantly start recording, how to connect it to bedroom speakers, how to connect it to Ableton, how to connect it to your laptop, how to get sound getting out of it, how to do everything so it is all set up, ready to go, easy, done. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're working with the Focusrite 2 Pre USB. Basically, with any interface, it comes with a power input, it comes with your USB output, and it comes with your line outputs. So basically, that goes into the power, that connects to the computer, and that connects to your speakers. These connect to more of the sort of MIDI synthesizers, stuff like that. So that's all those controls. So basically, the first thing is getting power into the computer. So all you have to do is connect your, your power that way. And then all you have to do is turn it on and then some magic happens and you have power. The second step is getting a USB connector. This one has this type of input. So let me plug it in for you. There we go. You get your USB and then you just connect that to your computer that way. And what it'll do is it'll light up there to show that it's all connected. So that shows that it's got power. That shows that it, the USB is in fact connected. And that way it is all magically done for you and all connected. The next part that you need to focus on is getting it connected to the speakers. So I've got these connectors. They are TRS to jack or jack to TRS cables. So basically, those go in my line outputs. So I put them in one, and then I put the second one as number two. And there we go, they're all connected to my speakers now. Now one thing I need to let you know is that you have to go on focusrite.com for any Focusrite interface and download the drivers, either Mac or Windows. They're all compatible, you just go and you select what the USB interface is or Firewire interface is and then easily download the drivers to your MacBook to get it to instantly connect and work. This is the next step of the process. So basically all you have to do is get into Ableton program and make sure that you check your preferences and then instantly, usually Claret 2 Pre is already selected but if it's not, all you have to do is go and select them for your inputs and outputs. So with your digital audio workstation, the main things you'll probably need is a pair of headphones. So I've got mine. You just have to connect it up. I've got my little audio jack that I can just plug into the headphone input. And then that way, I can listen back to what I'm hearing from the audio interface. So that's going to give me playback. If I want to hear through my monitors, all I have to do is just turn that knob up that way and it will in fact give me playback through my monitors over here. All right, so let's talk about how to get audio from, let's say, a microphone into the audio interface. So for Microphones, you want to use one of these kind of cables, XLR cables. There you go. And then you just plug that in that way. And then what you need is to activate your 48 volts. So all you have to do is click the 48 volt and then you'll hear something. So inside of Ableton, you want to make sure that you have the correct input selected so for me it's channel one because i am got the connection to channel one so that's all you have to do and then you can 
turn the volume up. And with the focus right, I'll show you real quick. So with the focus right, there's a little green option right there to show how loud the audio is. So if you turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, it goes red. That means that the audio is clipping. So all you have to do is turn it down till it goes green to make sure that it's not clipping. And it's fantastic, super sweet. So I've got the audio connected there. Connection there. That's the monitor. If you wanna, let's say, have a guitar working, you'll need a jack like this, this type of cable, and then you can instantly just plug it in the middle, and then the other side of the cable, you can use that to plug into your guitars or whatever you need to plug it into to instantly get it to start working. And there you have it, guys. There's a really basic tutorial for you on how to set up an audio interface in your bedroom studio to instantly get it to work. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to like and subscribe, join the family and learn maybe some new things every single week. Post about every two and three days. And uh, yeah, enjoy yourselves. Have a good day. Have a good family. Have a good life. Enjoy life. Have a good one. See ya.